All right, here we have our Illustrator file open showing all the layers and sublayers. Hey, how about some muke, Maestro? Coming right up. All right, you need to organize your layers and sublayers by screens, elements, button states, and all you sloppy file keepers out there have to clean it up a bit, all right? The Illustrator file then opened up in Flash Catalyst. We'll be able to see all the assets that are maintained exactly how they were in Illustrator. All the layers are ready for the magic to begin, turning on and off for how we want our animations to be. So we're gonna start off with a quick overview of Adobe Catalyst. At the top left, we have states, which represent our different screens for the application. Layers, similar to Illustrator. The centerpiece of the application represents our canvas. And the lower left section, are our states and state transitions from one screen to another. We also have changes that have taken place between each state or each screen, as well as different easing and animation functions for each change. Hey, can I get a button? Next, let's create a button by selecting the three layers of the button, creating a toggle button. We're gonna set those layers visible or invisible for the up, down, and over state. So let's take a look at those screens. At the top left, we have states that represent the screens. So let's define some of the changes between each screen. Essentially the same as buttons, we hide show different layers, different content. And let's also add some animation. The lower left, we have the transitions between each state. So we're going to select one of the changes that Adobe Flash Catalyst recognizes. And we're going to change the fading effect. We're going to shorten or lengthen that effect by grabbing the handle and dragging it left and right like so. Let's get Pixel Perfect here. Now it's time to export this file, put it in the browser, and see what we've got. Uh, we've connected all the buttons to each of the content screens and created simple screen transitions in and out of each other. Don't forget the slider, kid! Oh yeah, we've even added slider functionality. All we need now is to drop in calcs and we're ready to test with users. Most importantly, it's all done in the time it takes to fetch a greasy burger down from the cafe. Tweet it!